Hi everyone, Carissa here from Replo's customer success team. I'm so excited to announce that we've finally launched our Replo AI product. In this video, I wanted to walk you through how you can access the product and how you can start using and building pages with it. For some context, our drag and drop builder is separate from our Replo AI, so you'll need to create a separate shop to access Replo AI. To do so, go to your workspace dropdown up here and then press new shop. This will take you through the onboarding flow. Go ahead and give your shop a name. I'm gonna say Replo in Mexico City. Since we're at an offsite here right now, since most of you guys are already on Shopify, go ahead and press yes, I have an existing Shopify store and press continue. This step is where you choose what product you want to use on this shop. To access Replo AI, I want to press this one on the left, press continue. So this will redirect you back out to the Shopify app store where you can set up that Shopify integration onto that Replo shop. Go ahead and press open. After you connect the Shopify integration, you'll be prompted to set up your global design library. As you can see here, we have a few presets that you can choose from, or we can scrape styles from any existing URL. So whether that be your current site that already has all your branding on it, or just a site that you really like. So for example, I really like this website. The branding is pretty minimal, very modern. So all you need to do is copy this URL, paste it in here and press pull styles. This is going to kickstart the extraction process, which is basically extracting all the colors and fonts and images that are being used on that page and storing it into your shop's global design library. So moving forward, whenever chat generates a new page, it'll know what styles to pull from, what colors, what fonts, what images to use so that you don't have to manually set that up every single time. So this was style extraction's first pass. I would say it's pretty close, but if it didn't get it right on the first try, you can always go back to the design library and manually update the styles. Now that we're done setting up our shop, we can start building pages. I wanted to walk you through four common workflows for building pages with Replo AI. So the first method and probably the fastest is by using one of our templates. As you can see here, there's a library full of templates that are already styled to your brand thanks to the style extraction we did earlier. All you need to do is click on it, press use template, and it'll be ready to edit and publish out of the box. I really like this method because you don't have to really wait for the LLM to generate anything. Now from here, you can just use chat to make edits, or you can also use edit mode to selectively make changes to specific elements on the page. Now the next method is just by telling AI what you want. So let's say I want to build a listicle for one of my products. All you need to do is say, build me a listicle for... And the cool thing about chat is that you can actually reference things about your shop, so products or assets, just by typing at... And our products are already synced to our shop because we added that Shopify integration earlier. So these are all the products that are in that Shopify store. So yeah, let's say I want to reference this product right here and I want it to build a listicle about this product. This is really cool because you don't need to give the chat all the context about this product. By referencing it directly in line, chat will already know like the title of it, the product images, the price, the description, everything about it without you having to give that context manually. Let's go ahead and send that. This process typically takes about like four minutes. So we'll wait for that to generate and we'll be right back. All right, so in just under four minutes, this is what chat was able to generate based on this like very open-ended five-word prompt. It was able to build an entire listicle with this listicle section, all the images in, the copy and layout is in. It even has this buy box here with all the prices dynamically pulled in. It's able to identify all the options and values associated and add those into a buy box. Add to cart, everything just works out of the box. Even right here, we have some reviews and like a CTA section at the bottom. Um, although the copy might not be exact, you can always go in and use edit mode to change this um, and really personalize it. But, you know, on the traditional drag and drop editor, this might have taken me like an hour, two hours to generate, but we were able to do this in less than four minutes with AI. The next method I want to show you is for all my designers out there who like to work in Figma. We all understand sometimes it's just easier to design freeform in Figma. So let's say we have this landing page design. All you need to do is find a plugin that is able to export React.jsx code. So I like to use this plugin right here. Go into Tailwind and then down here you'll see it says React.jsx. Just copy all that code and paste it directly into the chat box. Can you please recreate this Figma design form using my design library? Thanks. All right, let's wait and see what chat is able to generate. All right, so this one took about three minutes to generate. And I would say it's like pretty close. Like if I look at the Figma design here, the layout's all there, the copy is accurate, everything's the same. There's some changes that we still need to make, like add adding the logos because we didn't provide the assets, but that is a pretty easy fix. Again, this probably would have taken me a few hours to set up on our drag and drop editor, but in literally like two or three minutes, we were able to replicate this entire Figma design one-to-one. -one. All right, the last method and probably our most requested feature is being able to replicate screenshots with AI. So for example, let's say I wanna replicate this section right here. Literally, all you need to do is take a screenshot of that section, paste it directly in chat, and say, hey, can you recreate this screenshot for me? And if you already have all the image assets ready, I recommend just adding it directly into the prompt so that on the first try, the output is as close to finish as possible. So for just please use. All right, I'm gonna send it and let's see what it generates. This one also took about two to three minutes, but it's like pretty close, like side by side. 
it's using my branding in my design library, but layout, content, everything is pretty much there. And so you can imagine if you're ever scrolling on another site and you're like, I really like this section, all you need to do to bring it to life in your own store is screenshot it and drop into chat and ask it to recreate it for you. So yeah, really cool stuff with Repl AI. Um, I hope you guys have the chance to try it out and I'm so excited to see what you guys build.